Hi there, so in this video we're going to have a look at installing a glass bed on our Ender 5 Pro. So we'll start by opening the box and as you can see you get a couple of clips for holding the bed down when we install it and then the bed itself which really is just a piece of glass with some kind of a non-stick surface on the top to hopefully make it easy to uh, move the prints uh, once it's cooled down. So right, let's get over to the machine and have a look. So here's the uh, print bed that's currently on the printer. It's the original one, which is the magnetic version. Uh, it's generally performed okay, but uh, I did start to notice that uh, it was warping, particularly uh, from the edges to the middle. So for example, if you hold down uh, a steel ruler across the straights and diagonals, um, it's quite hard to see on camera, but there is kind of a gap forming. So, I'm hoping that with the glass bed that should be nice and flat and it should resolve that issues and also um, sort out any kind of adhesion problems I've got uh, particularly if I want to start printing at higher temperatures so yeah let's um, remove this and stick the glass bed on top and uh, see what we need to do next so the insulation is pretty simple really you just well remove the old one and stick this on top and add the clips. Uh, a lot of people say you're supposed to remove the magnetic sticker that's attached to the heat bed, but I've opted to leave this on there for now. Um, hopefully it won't cause too many problems. If I do have some temperature issues, etc., then I probably will have to uh, remove it, but given it a bit of a pain because it's stuck down onto the bed, uh, I've just left it on here for now. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, next off, we need to look at uh, leveling the bed. So given the glass bed is quite a bit thicker than the original magnetic bed that was uh, installed previously, we need to make some adjustments uh, to the bed to make sure that obviously the print head doesn't slam into the thicker bed. So first thing I did was uh, tighten these uh, tensioner springs up. So I did it in pairs, uh, the two at the front and two at the back, and tightened them together so they were pretty tight. And then next off, what I did was then slacken them off about four or five turns. Uh, again, doing them in pairs, uh, two at the front, two in the back. Then if we come over here, there is the Z stop switch here. And there's a little screw that obviously, as the Z comes up, the screw kind of hits the switch and uh, stops the bed from hitting the print head. So again, because the bed's slightly thicker I had to adjust this just by loosening this nut on top and then screwing the uh, screw up just so it's protruding a bit as you can see uh, when it came originally it was uh, flat so you can see it's sticking up a bit now to compensate for the thicker bed so yeah all of this has been done before I even switched the printer on uh, just to make sure that when the Z comes up and it clicks uh, that the print head is not going to slam into the bed. So yeah, next up, I'm just gonna, uh, still with the printer off, just quickly uh, check the, the bed is level in the corners. So we'll go and do that now. So before switching the printer on, I've just done a quick paper test uh, around each of the corners. I've just laid the paper here um, just while I'm initially moving the head, just to make sure that it's not uh, going to scratch the uh, the bed. So yeah, I've just uh, sort of loosened these off ever so slightly, just to make sure that the head travels around nicely. So yeah, next step is what I'm going to do is um, test the auto homing on the printer, just to make sure that uh, it's working okay, and that when it is in the home position, that obviously the nozzle isn't touching the bed. So yeah, let's go and do that now. So with the printer now switched on, we're gonna test the auto home feature. So if we come into the menu down here and go down to prepare and we do the auto home option, then we should see the, start, the bed start to move up. And then hopefully, once the bed has come up, Okay, 
so that's now in and now what we can do is uh, start doing the leveling again with our sheet of paper so I think what you have to do first is come back into the menu go down to prepare and then just disable the stepper motors just to make sure they're not locked into position and that means you can start to move it by hand um, so yeah let's go and uh, level all four corners again uh, doing the paper test so now that I've leveled the bed using the uh, standard paper test on all four corners uh, I'm just going to run a few test prints now just to see how the uh, first layer of adhesion is going as you can see here this is a great start so this is obviously now where I have to start playing around with the settings and getting used to uh, adjusting the bed so yeah I'll get cracking with that and then we'll come back uh, when we've got some results so here are some sample test prints that I did using a sample that I downloaded from Thingiverse which basically is just printing a single layer and the idea was was just to look at different temperatures uh, to try and understand uh, what the adhesion was uh, to the bed and also uh, between the layers themselves to see how that has been affected by upgrading to the glass bed so yeah if you have a look at this is a bit of a <clears throat> mixed set of results really just trying out different temperatures um, what was most interesting was was that in order to get it to really stick I needed to adjust what is known as the Z offset on the first layer so that basically means that it's printing closer to the bed and I found that just by offsetting that slightly using a value of minus 0 0.1 um, using a 0 0.2 millimeter size nozzle um, was enough to kind of get that squish that people talk about um, you can see for example down here when I had it set to zero that um, it kind of you can see the the sort of layer lines here have not really stuck together um, as the bed temperature went up though uh, you can see here that it did actually stick better this was me literally ripping it off but it certainly wasn't sticking together as well whereas if you come to some of these ones um, even with lower bed temperatures um, the actual layers kind of stuck quite nicely so yeah it's quite an interesting set of tests again as I said I'll put the link in the description for these test files um, and yeah what I just wanted to do now was just quickly jump onto the laptop and um, show you some of the settings that uh, I use on my Ender 5 Pro uh, when printing PLA. Uh, this variety I did for these tests is uh, from a company called Geetech. So here we are inside of Cura, which is the slicing software I use. And in order to get the prints to come out well on this new glass bed, I had to make a couple of changes to uh, my printing profile so I started with the generic PLA material and then within the profile I just had to make a couple of changes the first one was to increase the print temperature up to about 210 and I think this is more based on the PLA I'm using it just needs to go a bit higher uh, for the glass bed I had to increase the bill plate temperature quite a bit uh, to around 70 degrees in order to get the initial layer to really stick properly then the final thing I did uh, was apply this Z offset. Now by default, this isn't visible inside the profiles. So the way that you add this is to go into the marketplace and then under the plugins section, if you come right down to the bottom, uh, there's a plugin called the Z offset setting. So once you've installed that, you then need to go into the Cura preferences and then under settings, look for the Z offset and you can see it here so once you've checked that that should then make it appear in your profile so yeah as you can see I've got a value here of minus 0 0.1 which I found was enough just to kind of squish that initial layer down just to make sure it sticks and other than that that's pretty much it so yeah not the most straightforward of upgrades but uh, yeah once I got all the settings dialed in it seems to be printing pretty good now and hopefully I'll uh, get the benefits going forward so yeah Hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.